Trying to squeeze this meeting in, and I appreciate you being here. Um, so this is the Wichita Downtown Neighborhood Association. Um, appreciate uh, everyone here that uh, either lives or works or just cares about downtown. So I'm Jason Van Sickle. I think I've met most of you. Uh, but uh, as you might have read this morning, the Wichita Eagle did a really nice article about this group. And uh, so if you haven't seen it, it's posted online. It should be in print this week. Uh, but I was president of the Old Town Association for the last four years, a great organization, really proud of that group and everything we've done in Old Town. Uh, but I've got a lot of friends throughout uh, downtown. I live and work downtown and uh, got friends in Delano and have friends in Commerce Art District and other areas. And through a series of conversations over the last year, I uh, really saw the opportunity to have a downtown neighborhood association and a true neighborhood association. So one that's about bringing people together meeting people, creating a community. I think kind of the mission statement that's, that's organically evolving is that uh, you know, we're focused on safety, uh, the, vibrant, vibrant, the vibrantness of downtown, and uh, civic engagement. So again, just bringing people together. There's no vision of this being a dues or membership dues organization or a fundraising organization or needing to have any financial commitment. Again, it's just like this meeting, bringing people together, uh, letting you know more about your neighborhood and your community, uh, and giving us the opportunity to ask questions of people who work in our community, whether it's Visit Wichita that organizes a lot of great events for us throughout the year, or the police department, uh, and their homeless outreach team that are out on the streets every day, uh, keeping us safe and looking out for the most needy in our community, or whether it's uh, the Cedric County Wichita Continuum of Care, uh, which is an organization of dozens of uh, nonprofits and community organizations that focus on homelessness. So those are the three groups that are going to talk today and tell you uh, again with Visit Wichita about what's going on on our calendar of events coming in 2018 and uh, Wichita Police Department talking about the new panhandling ordinance, which is something that I feel uh, is a great tool and long overdue, not because they haven't been working on it hard with the city for many years, but because it's a complicated issue, as they'll explain, uh, that balances everybody's First Amendment rights with our desire not to have people walking out in traffic and <coughs> stopping us every time we're trying to go in, in or out of quick trip every day. And so, uh, and uh, this continuum of care that has been working for many years on homelessness issues, and right now is in the middle of our AFD annual census to figure out how many people are homeless in Wichita, how that's changed, and what an amazing job Wichita has done over the years being one of the communities that's, that's dealt with homelessness better than many communities across the United States. So, again, thanks for being here. We'll start off again with some presentations, uh, with some opportunities at the each of, at the each, end of each presentation to ask some questions or have some discussion. May hold off if the questions get too many till towards the end because I really do like to keep meetings on time. So the first person I'll introduce to you is Cynthia Wentworth, uh, who's with uh, Visit Wichita, and she's going to tell you about um, what Visit Wichita has planned for the year ahead. So Cynthia, come on. Thank you very much. So, um, and again, because of time constraints, we're going to kind of move through these uh, different presentations so I can really give you a lot of valuable information today. Then if you need any information afterwards, uh, feel free to stay around and ask questions. Feel free to email me if you need somebody's contact information, uh, and uh, we'll make sure that you get hooked up with the right person. So uh, thanks again to Cynthia and Visit Wichita, and Visit Wichita, again, have a community calendar. So go to their website, check it out, look at all the resources they have available. And then you can also become a partner, uh, which for a reasonable fee, uh, you can get really involved with Visit Wichita, stay on top of those things happening throughout the year, become a supporting member of all the things coming to Wichita and the events we're promoting, because they work tirelessly to just continue to bring people in from the outside. And the NCAA is a, man, it's a lot of work they put into making that happen this year, so thank you for all your hard work. So. Did you have something on real quick, what, what are the boundaries sort of of this association going to be roughly? What do you want them to be? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we've got a working definition of downtown, but again, it's working. And, and, and because really, boundaries are artificial. We create them as a community. And I learned that at Old Town, because at Old Town, we had one boundary, which was defined by a parking ordinance, where you paid a fee if you had certain parking spaces in front of you 
your uh, business. Another boundary that was defined by a uh, dis uh, entertainment district ordinance, another boundary which was defined by a historic ordinance. And and it, it, exactly. And so it's so it really it, it can be defined by whatever however we define it. I think having grown up in Wichita and spent the last 45 years of my life here, to me, you know, downtown really is Delano and the river on the west side. Uh, probably going up to uh, maybe Hydraulic Grove, or even at this point, I grew up in the Hall College Hill area, and I consider myself a far east sider when I was younger. At this point, I would consider that midtown and approaching downtown now. And so I would say somewhere along there on the east side, because we really uh, respect what Douglas Design District's done, and, 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 and glad to have them as part of this. Uh, who knows? Maybe looking to the north, central, 13th, uh, and probably Kellogg uh, to the south. And so those are, again, kind of a working definitions, but the idea is also that this group isn't just whether you officially live or work downtown. If you're passionate about town and want to find a way to support it, we welcome you as well. So, uh, but one of the things we'll be working on over the year ahead is kind of a more formal structure. At the first meeting, for those that weren't there, which happened back in November, we did talk about potential uh, structures, bylaws, boards, things like that, and I and decided just to kind of wait and, and take some opportunities to bring people together, have these discussions, learn about our neighborhood, and let it grow a little more organically. So, again, I want people to feel like they get something from these meetings uh, and walk away better understanding what downtown is, what's happening downtown, and when there's important issues that impact you, like pain, homeless, or homelessness, or some of the tougher issues that our community struggles with on a daily basis, what's being done about it, who's working on it, and how can you help if you have that desire. So along those lines, I'd like to introduce the Homeless Outreach Team. The Wichita Police Department started the Homeless Outreach Team Started 2011 went live 2013. Okay, so it's been around for over five years in its initial conception, and already it's become a real example of how a community and their police force and city leaders and homeless organizations work together to both uh, work on the issue of homelessness in a way that's productive and creates results but also a way that's compassionate. And so one of the things I'll say about the homeless outreach team is that they've got a tough job because there are people out there uh, who are constantly walking around asking for money, asking for help, and they are turning down the resources that nonprofit community organizations are offering for help because they have a different motivation. Then there's people out there that just truly need help desperately. And so uh, they, run, they walk a really fine line between needing to have a lot of respect for individuals' <laughs> rights and their rights to be sitting on a bench somewhere in Old Town or their rights to be on a sidewalk or their rights to be carrying their belongings around, all the belongings they own around with them as they wander around downtown, but then also trying to get people into the right resources so that they're helped in a genuine way. And so I've had people before say, why can't I call the police and have them just haul these people off that are sitting in front of or laying in front of my business? And it's because those are human beings with rights and they're working on it. So you do call the homeless outreach team and Nate will give you their contact information or like they'll tell you or anyone else will tell you that's been downtown, just call 911 if you see somebody in need. My staff at the apartment complex this week saw somebody laying in the parking lot in distress and they call the police and the police don't come to harass them or arrest them or give them any type of hard time. They come with first responders to see if that person has medical needs, needs help. In this situation, the person did. They needed medical help, so it was good that somebody called. So, uh, Without further ado, uh, Nate Sweetall with the Homeless Outreach Team. 